Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I built the random quote machine for the course I'm currently doing on free code camp. Here we need to use code pen. We need to choose a library or an API. We need to add a button that shows the random quote and we need to add a button to tweet out the quote. Okay, we head over to CodePen, where I've just finished my random quote machine. I've, uh, it's pretty basic. It has the the button, the two buttons, one for the generate the quote, and the other one to tweet out the quote. Here I've added some Google fonts, I've added some text, which links to where I've got the quotes. Click on the new quote button, and we have a new quote. The Ajax is doing its thing without refreshing the whole browser, just getting the quote. Then here we can just tweet out the quote, which loads it straight up, ready to tweet. It's pretty cool. Awesome, right? Right. Okay, let's dive into the code. All right, before we start with CodePen, I'll just show you the setup that I did. I added the link to Google Fonts with, I added three fonts, I went with one. And I added the link to Font Awesome, which gave me the icons on the buttons. The CSS, I added Bootstrap 4, which styles the buttons. And the JavaScript library, I added jQuery. Now adding additional libraries is just one click. You want to add another one, and so on. Pretty stand, pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Okay, now let's start with the HTML. Pretty easy. It's a couple of lines for the H1, the line break. This random quote comes from there. And a couple of line breaks. Then I've got my button with the bootstrap classes. And I've added my icons with Font Awesome. And my paragraph ID is run quote. The CSS just added a box. There's my Google font. Just a couple of margins I had to adjust. Okay, JavaScript, which is my jQuery. Here we have the code. Now, a great resource tool, referencing tool, is I recommend three uh, W three schools. Anything web related, web development. It has all the languages here and more. But uh, here we use jQuery. We want to reference Ajax. And here we have it. Performs an asynchronous Ajax request. That's us. Shows you some code. Dot Ajax takes in the URL. And it lets it know here. Takes the name value pairs. Here's the syntax. So it's a pretty useful tool. If you're learning like me. But here's the quote. I'll leave a link in the description. And thanks for watching.